Question 16 says the position of two point masses are shown in the figure. So there are two point masses that is the 4 kg mass and the 2 kg mass located at 4,0 and 16,0. We have to write down the position of the center of mass. Dear students, the position of center of mass will have an x coordinate equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2. So this will be equal to 4 into 4 plus 2 into 16 by 4 plus 2 this will be equal to 48 by 6 that is 8 the y coordinate of the center of mass can be further written as m1 by 1 plus m2 by 2 by m1 plus m2 and that will be equal to 4 into 0 plus 2 into 0 divided by 4 plus 2 and this will be 0 and hence the coordinates of the center of mass dear student will be equal to 8 comma 0 and therefore for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number 4 moving on to the question number 17 question 17 says an unknown resistance r1 is connected in series with the resistance 10 ohms when the combination is connected in the left gap of a meter bridge and r2 is connected in the right gap the balance point from left end is 50 centimeters when the 10 ohm is removed and the balance point from the left end becomes 40 centimeters the value of r1 is something that we have to calculate and the four options are 10 ohms 20 ohms 50 ohms and 40 ohms now dear students let us draw the diagram this is r1 resistance and this is the 10 ohm resistance and it is connected in the left gap of the meter bridge now on the right gap the resistance is r2 at the bottom there is a wire of length one meter it is given that in this situation the jockey for the balance point is kept and the balance point is attained at the length of 50 centimeters so in this situation we can write down that r1 plus 10 divided by r2 that is the ratio of the resistance will be equal to 50 by 50 that is these two gaps will have a length of 50 centimeters each and this will be equal to 1 finally it is given that this 10 ohm resistance is being removed in that situation the left gap will have a resistance of equal to only r1 so r1 by r2 will be equal to the ratio of the balance points and in the second case the balance point is 40 centimeter so 40 by 60 that is 2 by 3 now we can divide these two equations and write down that r1 plus 10 by r1 is equal to 3 by 2 or we can write down that 2 r1 plus 20 is equal to 3 r1 further on we can write down that r1 will be equal to 20 ohms and hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number 2 now moving on to the question number 18 question 18 says in young's double slit experiment two slits four millimeter apart are illuminated by a light of wavelength 600 nanometers what will be the fringe width on the screen placed two meters from the slits and the four options are 0.3 millimeters three millimeters four millimeter and 0.12 millimeters dear students we know that the fringe width is given as lambda capital d by small d where lambda is the wavelength capital d is the distance of the screen from the slit plane and small d is the distance between the two slits on substituting the values lambda is given as 600 nanometers so this will be 600 into 10 raised to power minus 9 capital d is given as 2 and the distance between the slits is given as 4 millimeters that is 4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 this will be equal to 3 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meters or 0.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter which can also be written as 0.3 millimeters meaning for this question the correct answer is option number one now let us move to the question number 19 question 19 says there is a current of 20 ampere in a wire of cross section 0.01 centimeter square if number of free electrons per cubic meter is 10 raised to power 29 then the drift velocity will be Dear students, we can use the formula here that I will be equal to small n into E into A into V, where I is the current, N is the number density of the electrons, E is the electronic charge, A is the area of cross section, and V is the drift velocity. Therefore, V will be equal to I by N into E into A. We can substitute the given values. 
i is given to be equal to 20 amperes n is given to be equal to 10 raised to power 29 e is a value that we should know that is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 and a is given to be equal to 0 0.01 centimeter square so 10 raised to power minus 4 if we convert it into si units that is meter square on solving this we get a value of 1.25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters per second and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us solve the question number 20. Question 20 says the dimensions of the Young's modulus y is and four options are mlt minus 2, ml minus 1, t minus 2, m0, l0, t0 or ml0, t minus 2. Dear students, we know that the Young's modulus is given as stress by strain so that is equal to force per unit area divided by the fractional change in length. We can further write down that the dimensional formula of Young's modulus will be equal to the dimensional formula of force divided by the dimensional formula of area. In the denominator, it will be dimensions of delta L, while in the numerator, it will be the dimensions of L. The dimensional formula of L and delta L will be same with having the units meters in SI units. So this will be equal to MLT minus 2, that is the dimensional formula of force, divided by the dimensional formula of the area. Therefore, this will be equal to m l minus 1 t minus 2. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number 2. Moving on to the question number 21.